Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up the trial, and in this episode we're back at the investigation, and now we're going to track down the mysterious man, Miss... the mysterious man... Miss May's mysterious man who may have murdered Mia. Try saying that five times fast. Miss May's mysterious man who may have murdered Mia. Miss May's mysterious man who may have murdered Mia. Miss May's mysterious man who may have murdered Mia. Yeah. Okay, let's just move on. Let's move to meet with Miss May's mysterious man who murdered Mia. That's mouthful. Anyways, let's go ahead and go over to Grossberg's law offices. Because as you can see here, uh, something appears to be missing. September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. So we have two things that are new here. First of all, this. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... Fisherman, maybe? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Also, we have these things over here. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on the pencil in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. So keep this person in mind later. We're gonna go ahead and cha uh, swap out the photo. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. I think I'll swap them. So, uh, if you haven't seen episode three, which why would you be watching episode eight if you haven't even watched episode three? Uh, Make sure to go back, because that's where Case 2 starts. Uh, and so this guy might look very familiar. We're going to head back to Fanco real quick. September 7th, Fanco Law Offices. Looks like Forensics has taken the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. The puzzle can't hurt to take a look around, though. So maybe it's time for some poetry with Phoenix? The sky is blue and so am I. There's a hotel right across the way. That's the same thing as before. You'd think he'd have something to say, like, there's the hotel and where uh, Miss May used to be or something like that. Anyways, we have the plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. So yeah, it changed a little bit. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. So the same thing as before, and is this the same thing as before? The saddest line in the game? Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Yeah. Let's head back to the detention center. These investigation sections will just be kind of walking around. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't ha just have a spiky- You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When I sh when this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> Go ahead and present the photo of the guy. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you- where did you... Aha! A reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No! No, that's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof it was him? Hmm? I yeah, proof! Show me proof! I'm so close. So... We don't have proof that it was him, but there is one person who does know that this is the guy who stayed with her. 
September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, uh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters with rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for this room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So you, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. You'll be hearing this theme a lot in the game. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to post, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most of su suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who's with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. If only we had that. We'll get to that in a little bit. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Possibly some more poetry with Phoenix? Nice weather again today. I can see the Fanko offices, of course. Ah, yes. You plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. This five dollars will earn you a three minute view of... a... a three minute of a view to a kill. Just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, ho. With that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. How's we have this? Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Also, we have the, uh... I don't know if this is where the ice coffee... That's not where you'd put coffee, that's just... But this still is proof that there were two people here. No, not the weather. I'll look at the door. This is very finicky. Please? A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned this up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor, I call it the last drink. Before the murder, we'll be famous, the talk of the hotel industry. So yeah, earlier he mentioned that if he saw a picture of the man with Miss May, the mysterious man with Miss May who murdered Mia, then he'd know, then he could tell you it was him. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No. No, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. I'll have him write it. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Does it say anything? Describes the man who stayed, in the, stayed with Miss May in the hotel on the night of the murder. The mis, Miss May's mysterious man who murdered Miss Mia on the night of the murder. And detention center. Go ahead and present this. Could you have a look at this? What's that? Bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. 
You told us about the man you checked in with. You told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. Rule number one of Ace Attorney, always push harder, or press harder, or whatever the phrasing is. This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that is an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What? Even though he should be a witness to the murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. You're pumping your fists in the air. <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call him a detective a agency. Huh. This is the man... So this is the man that you were with on the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White. At last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Discarded the bellboy's aff affidavit. Okay. Is there any more talk options? No. So yeah. Uh, if, it, if it wasn't obvious already, and if you haven't seen the beginning of the case for whatever reason, yeah, he did it. Mr. Red White did it. Uh, so... So, Mr. Red... Mr. Mr. Mysterious Man... Miss May's Mr. Mysterious... Miss Miss May's Mysterious... Hold on, I, I can get this, hold on. Miss Miss May's Mysterious... Mysterious... Miss Miss May... Miss Miss May's Mr. Mysterious Man murdered Miss Mia. That is a mouthful. Okay. Red White. Blue Corp. September 7th, Blue Corp Incorpor Blue Corp Incorporated, CEO's office. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name, what's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right, Phoenix Wright, inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official? My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with a worldly challenge. What a fruitcake. I'm gonna use that from now on. Huh, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Well, let's do some examining. Uh, explain this, please. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million, I'm sure. Hmm. So we have a bunch of other stuff to examine. And just... There we go. Let's see. So this is certainly a desk. If we thought that... Uh, Marvin Grossberg spent a lot of spent a lot of money on stuff. Then this guy is just. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My my, this is quite the thing. It is my it is modeled on my body. See, well, does its sleek roundature not inspire you? 
Statue of a man holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too bootacious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too bootacious for just about anyone to appreciate. Here's one of my favorite things. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges Special Runner-Up, Best Participation, Judges Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize. <laughs> huh, the words Judges and Special kind of stand out. I love that Special Good Try Prize. <laughs> this is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite... presidential. Let's go ahead and... Let's put... Also, another thing that I like, let's present the photo to him. About this picture. Gorgeous, that's a picture of me. Ah, I see it was taken in the prime of my youth, about ten years ago at a guess. The hotel bellboy says he saw the man on the night of the murder. On closer inspection, he does look a lot like me, but I'm afraid this is someone else. Nope, it's definitely not me. Far too young. <laughs> Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct, she is my secretariat. What a shock it was to f hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as a part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Uh, raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell... information? In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? So, it's actually kind of impressive because he's how old? 39, so at the age of 29, he was able to build his own company. It's kind of impressive. That painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. No, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully under- you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse, excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Ugh. Oof. Ah. Uh, uh, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. Or it is you who will be found guilty. What? In my exposition, the police, the courts, they all do my bidding. 
so you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossburgs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that the painting is of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. So yeah, for that voice, I kind of just did like a, an annoying, like, lavish and loud kind of guy. Speaking of loud, your suit is off the charts. Also, that tie is very strange. Uh, let's move. No, I'll actually go and ask Grossberg about uh, Mr. Red White next time. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and stop by Grossberg's. I, I just said this already. We'll stop by Grossberg's and see what Mr. Red White is talking about. I keep calling him Mr. Red White because I'm used to calling him Miss Mays... Miss Miss May's Mr. Mysterious Man Who Murdered Miss Mia. That's still a mouthful. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!